Hey YouTube, I had some comments on my other uh, oil filter cutting videos that when you use this you should be turning the tool over the filter and not the filter through the tool. So today I'm going to give that a try and we're going to see how it goes. Filter being a Baldwin B1402. Just did an oil change on my car and I do I buy these filters by the case. And if you're interested in Baldwin filters, they're available through any uh, Kenworth truck dealer. And and I feel kind of odd going into a <clears throat> big rig place to order oil filters uh, for my car. And then you can also get Baldwin filters for motorcycles there. Almost none of them stock them. They have to special order them. But... I like Baldwin filters. Hastings filters are identical to Baldwin's. They're just painted white and say Hastings on them. Made in the exact same factory, same specs. Just, I guess they load different paint in the sprayers, whatever they happen to be making that day, whether it be Baldwin's or uh, Hastings. So I'm going to slap this on there and I'm going to give it a try of turning the tool and not the filter. These pretty much work just like a tubing or pipe cutter. Yeah, we're almost through. I will say, well, I don't find this any easier than turning the filter. But there you go. That does, I will say one thing, you know, that is a cleaner way because now you don't have the anti drain back valve holding all the oil in, which you have this upside down and keeps all the oil from running out. So I'd say that's a good tip to turn the tool and not the filter. Works just as easy, don't find it any more difficult. And since we, I guess we'll pull a filter out and take a quick peek since we did open it. Yeah. I'm trying not to make a huge mess here. Well, filter looks good. It's 5,000 miles. That's the interval I go in my car. Well, I'm going to call that a good tip to turn the tool and not the filter in there. So, whoever that was, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, folks.